Welcome to another episode of LDW. Uh, <clears throat> I'm your host, George Harris King. Man, oh man. I'm still I'm, I'm blown away from our last show, man. The climax of our season. It followed through. Made a great amount of money. We got a new champion for the first time in a minute. We have a new champion, guys. Starting off from the back of our last show, uh, Owen Miller. He picked up his first win here in LDW facing off against Jeff Bryan. Really showed what he had. I love it. It's like that whole episode was the Ballad of a Warrior, you know. These people, they start they start from the bottom. They work their way up through LDW. They're going to boost their popularity, boost their own, you know, this self-determination for them here in LDW. Now, <clears throat> through these competitors, it's just, it's just amazing to me, man. I'm so proud of these guys. Um... Seriously, these guys, they, they've really put in the work. they really put in the time and effort. Just just keep pushing themselves to get somewhere. And that's what LDW wants to see. And that's when they'll get their title opportunities. They'll get the opportunities they deserve here in LDW. Very proud of Owen Miller. And then moving on, Stanley Adams faced Michael Elgin. We, have, we saw this match on our last season. And Stanley Adams... Picked up the win over Elgin as a visitor, which made Elgin look really bad. And now here we are uh, on the next season. He defeats Michael Elgin again. But see, this match was a lot more impressive than, la than last season's match. This match, that was a war. And we saw some serious, dirty tactics shown from Stanley Adams to Michael Elgin. I mean, for the first time in a minute, I've been on the side of Michael Elgin here in LDW. Um, they and the management has decided that those two will now go at it in a best of five series. Okay, best of five series basically is just like two out of three falls, except it's basically three out, of, basically three out of five or four out of five. You could say four out of five, basically. Um, yeah, four out of five. So basically, they're gonna be going at it like crazy. Um, all the way up until Lions Roar, Lions Roar 2, I mean. Um, they've already had one match together, and then they're going to have another match, they're going to have another match. Then they may get a break from one episode, you know, to rest their bodies and stuff. Then they'll fight again, fight again. Uh, let me think, <laughs> I'm not saying this anymore. So they've already had one match, now they need at least five, four more matches. So now this show, they're going to have another match. Uh, the following show, they're going to have another match. Then we'll take a break. Then we'll have another match. Then once we get to Lions Roar, there you go. They're gonna fight, fight, fight bleh, face off at Lions Roar 2 and finish this whole rivalry out. Um, moving on, Hangman and Page. His cockiness is just being is growing and growing as the world champion. He faced Pentagon Jr. Um, Pentagon was the open challenger. Took the challenge and, and Adam Page. He just he almost lost to Pentagon Jr. in my opinion. Pentagon was really putting in that work. But sadly, Pentagon could not finish off the champ. Adam Page is still the heavyweight champion, guys. It's a sad way to look at it. And from my perspective, it's just like, you know, the fans got to get tired. And you saw the rating from that match. You got like a 61% rating because people are tired of seeing Adam Page as champion. You know, and truly no one was happy with what he did to Owen Miller. In that one match, that just made him even more. It made him into a dishonorable champion. In that match last show, he was really getting his butt whooped, and just like out of nowhere, he hits that power bomb. The problem with how he hit that power bomb, he was hit with so much aggression, it meant to injure Pentagon in that match, and that's what knocked him silly. And he also pulled. It, also, if you didn't notice, no one wants to acknowledge this. He was holding the tights as he was. You know, he was pushing pressure on the tights to make sure he can get the win. So he really cheated to win that match, in my strong, strong opinion. Adam Page, you're going to lose eventually, man. Eventually, you're going to lose, you know. Ricochet versus Nick Mondo. Killer, killer main event. They went to war. You saw the emotions. You saw the story of how these two men have come from such rough backgrounds and have made it to where they are now. And through the wrestling business and as great friends here in LDW how they both worked so hard in LDW have been on almost every show 
and worked so hard to not just to impress the fans, but to gain respect. And they showed it in that match. Nick Mondo defeated Ricochet for the junior heavyweight title, guys. I am so proud. He went to the back, had his whole party. Everybody took him out for drinks. Everybody went nuts. Everybody was nuts. His tweets going like crazy. Everybody loved it. Nick Mondo is the new junior heavyweight champion. Ricochet wasn't even mad. They shook hands. They hugged. They cried. They didn't kiss, but they cried and they hugged everything. They just... It was emotional. It was very emotional. Good job to Nick Sick Nick Mondo. The guy that has literally worked from the bottom up here in LDW is now a champion. You got to love it, guys. It's almost like a, it's a Cinderella Man story. You know? Good for him. So, let's talk about today's show. Um, I actually haven't even come up with a... I, I know that um, it would be Stanley Adams versus Michael Elgin, but... Everything else, I don't really know what else I want to do today, you know. Some people need time off. Some people don't need time off, you know. Tessa Blanchard is back from injury. So, let's see. Let's produce some merchandise. Oh, it's sold out. Cool. You know what I'm going to do. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so clearly this is having problems. I'm about to stop producing this stuff for a while. Because there's problems with the... This, they're clearly being recalled or something. All right, spot. Why do I keep doing this every time? I know we have more. We have more time to use the sponsors. Um, training center. No. Um, we can repair that. Repair the medicine balls. Balance ball. Clinic. We can afford it now. I'm just gonna do it. Ring doctor. Um. There you go. We don't want to overspend on anything. Um, let's try to the scouter. Still looking. All right, that's fine. Let's go out and try to offer a contract ourselves. Let's not go to any companies. Go back to the Indies. Hmm. I'm thinking about trying to hire this guy, but you know he was just a visitor to that one show. This guy looks interesting. Since he's, his popularity is not that high. We need more juniors as well. So let's see if we can get this guy. Hell yeah. What? Shit, go ahead and go be broke then, man. Whatever. Whatever. Go ahead and keep on pushing yourself through the indies and get nowhere. I ain't gonna, I'm not going to keep pushing for you. You know, whatever. Back to the drawing board. All right, let's go ahead and book our event. All right, let's see. Hmm. To start us off, sadly, Tessa has actually hit the low here, man. She's gonna have to be in the open match, you know. So Tessa Blanchard. She can face Jeff Bryan. I think it's the is that the first time? I feel like it's the first time they went together in a singles match. They both are truly I mean, Jeff Bryan he won some matches in the tag team, but it's whatever. Let me see something. Alright, Owen Miller, my dog. He's getting somewhere here, man. I love it. You can face Jamie Wilson. Give her a match tonight. Alright. Um, Adam Page is not competing tonight. So, there's that. One thing I could do, though. Mm, no, can't do that. Nah, I can't do that. Mm. One thing I'm going to do Ricochet versus Pentagon Jr. in a number one contenders match to determine the number one contender for the heavyweight championship. 
All right. Um, then Michael Elgin in the main event will face Stanley Adams. Or, nah, the Stanley Adams versus Michael Elgin now. I mean, it's a good match, you know. Oh, they're pretty upper-level competitors, so they'll be the main event, I guess. Um, so there's that. All right, Ricochet and Pentagon Jr., See, the thing with this matchup, this title matchup, this is going to be held for a minute. You get me? So, yo, I really need to sign some more people. I'm actually a little disappointed that we couldn't sign two more people now. All we need is, like, two more people, and we can, like, crack off, like, pull out another tag team tournament, you know? Like my plan, my my big plan that I got. Hold on, let me go ahead and book this match before I get too distracted. Mm. But um, my plan when it comes to the future of LDW with the tag team division, um, let's see, it could be Ricochet and Sick Nick, Tessa and Pentagon, Jeff and. Hangman, and then another tag team, and then this builds up to, you know, this builds up to the um, tag team championship match, and this whole tag team tournament can go together, um, shoot, that had to be like two episodes, right, no, three episodes, so how many people can we sign? Uh, let's see, it's like eight season or seven, episode eight, and then nine, maybe episode nine, ten, eleven. We still got enough time, you know, sign two people and finish this whole tournament out. It's just like we gotta hope someone signs with us, you know. And I'm I'm willing to go to the lowest lowest of low to get somebody. We need two people here in LDW. Um, Stanley Adams is in a rivalry with Michael Elgin. Jamie Wilson, she's not in rivalry, but she's um she's connected to Michael Elgin, so she doesn't have to really do that much. So we'll figure things out from here. Um, so there's that. So let's go ahead with the main event. Let's book it. Continuing their best of five series, it'll be. Well, now I think about it, they're not going. This was a face off at LDW's um. At uh, LDW Ryan's Lions Roar two. So how would I book the tag titles match? Huh. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. I gotta think that one through. You know what I'm saying? I gotta think that one through a little bit harder. I'll figure it out. Alright, let's just go ahead and get to this. Michael Elgin. Stanley Adams in our main event of the evening. Full house attendance again. Two people get the night off. Um, all the champions get the night off. Nick Sick Nick and Hangman Page, of course. So, there's that. Mm, match types and stuff. This will have a 60 minute time limit since it's the main event. This will have a 45 minute time limit. 30 minute, 30 minute. Let's take out this team thing just in case there's any problems. All right, we're good there. We're booked up. We're good to go. All right, should be a simple show. Ricochet versus Pentagon, and then we'll get tenders match. Um, Elgin and Stanley Adams, they do their little best of five series. Um, this will be their second match out of the series. Hopefully, Michael Elgin will pick up a win, or not. I mean, it's whatever. The series still continues to see who can win the whole thing. So, there's that. And that's that, guys. Alright. So, we're good to go. Uh, confirm the match card. Oof. Big money spending. You know, big money spending to make some more money back. And that's what's been the plan every time. We're at six on about six hundred thirty thousand. Watch us. We're gonna be at seven hundred thousand or seven hundred and fifty thousand, seven hundred thirty thousand. I'm confident, guys. Let's get to it. 
What's up? Oh, it's like a big turnout this month. Okay, that's cool. Really need to sign two more people. That's all we need is two more people. And we got a lot of episodes ahead of us, guys. We got this. We got this. Just need two more people. We need at least two more people by, I say, the tenth episode. The ten by the tenth episode, we need two people, or at least a visitor to come in and wrestle for that spot, or two visitors for wrestle for the spot. Anything can happen. Believe me, I'm not a quitter. We're gonna make this happen. All right. Sorry. Right. Episode seven, full house at the small hall. Where you all the tickets? Let's get to it, guys. Good. Sh let's have a good show. All right, Woo. welcome to Lions Den Wrestling. I'm your host, George Harris King. This is our seventh show here in our season two. Please welcome back the Queen, Tessa Blanchard. We have not seen her in the opening match in a minute, guys. Um, this is how she's going to have to be treated, you know, based on how she's been picking up losses ever since the season began. But we all believe in Tessa. We know what she's capable of. She's got to go through the experiences, have time off, rest her brain, and get herself together. All right, so now she gets her opponent. This is Jeff Bryan. I think, I believe this is their first time um, facing off in a singles competition. This will be a big match. If she can pick up the win over Jeff Bryan, um, it would be really good for her moving forward from here. Um, you saw last week Jeff Bryan lost to Owen Miller. Owen Miller finally picked up some momentum here in LDW. Oh, nice flip from Jeff Bryan. Literally the American Will Osprey here. Again with the nice flip. You keep on pulling out those big moves. You're going to tire yourself out, kid. Calm yourself down. Um, Tessa Blanchard had to rest the neck injury once again. That neck has been having problems ever since LDW, you know. Ever since she's been in LDW from the beginning. Um, she definitely needed that time off. We gave her time off. She's back. She's in 100%. Jeff Bryan, Owen Miller defeated Jeff Bryan last week. Picked up his first big win. Um, it's not Jeff Bryan's job to put people over, you know, but if Tessa Blanchard can pick up her first win on this season against Jeff Bryan, it'd be very good for her moving forward from here. So a lot of hope, a lot of, um, um, determination and a lot of, um, support is being put into, uh, Tessa Blanchard here in this matchup tonight. All right. So let's focus on the match now. Tessa Blanchard seems like she's had the advantage so far. Pinfall here. Whoa, does not even get a one count. Ooh, throws her down with authority. We all know how good Tessa Blanchard is. She just hit a hookup in her status here in LDW. We all got hope in her. Double arm, does not get it. Jeff Bryan throws her off. Excuse me, drink of water. If that pop scared y'all. Um, <laughs> so Jeff Bryan really showing his ability here tonight so far. Resiliency, all right. The exchange one over from Jeff, elbow from Tessa, elbow from Jeff, elbow from Tessa, elbow from Jeff, elbow from Tessa takes that out just like that. Very nice. Mmm, pay dirt puts her right down just like that with authority. All right, what's Tessa gonna do? Oh, has her flips him right off. That's nice. Takes down Jeff Bryan. Both of these two, well, Jeff Bryan has picked up some wins, you know. I can't say he's not, like Tessa has lost every match so far here um, on the series so far, uh, on that series, the season, so it's really more for her to win this match than Jeff Bryan. Jeff Bryan will be good, you know. So, we'll see where things go moving forward from here. Alright, snap suplex from Tessa Blanchard. Oh, puts him down just like that. Throws her in. Oh, jumping Frankenstein just like that. 
Will she tap out? Nope. Throws Jeff Bryan right off, just like that. Oh, kick to the gut. Has her. Ushigaroshi. That neck is so damaged from all these injuries. One, two, and she kicks out. All of her opponents either focus on the upper back, middle, like the focus on her back or her neck because they know that, that she's had so many injuries in those two areas. You know, Tessa Blanchard, she's so resilient and so perseverant through these times. And you know what she's capable of. We've seen her. She's been on undefeated streaks over and over again. And she's been on, or not undefeated, she, she's been on winning streaks. Oh my God. Frog slash to the back of Tessa. She's been on winning streaks this is her first real losing streak here in ldw so this is her chance to come back and through this matchup if she loses tonight you know she's gonna have to really work hard to get back to where she was before and that's a fact so there's that oof miscommunication there between the two wrestlers all right what's she gonna call for oh oh deadlifting powerbomb Misses the pinfall there. She gets out of it. Going off the ropes. Oh. Shoulder tackle there. Kick to the gut. Ushigoroshi once again. The Tessa back of that neck. One. Two. Throw. I thought that was it. Very nice from Tessa Blanchard to stay in this match, guys. Falling clothesline to take him down. Ooh, elbow to the mouth. Oh, nice drop kick from Jeff Bryan to take her down. Throws her in. Ooh, nice arm drag there. Going up. Oh, 630 moonsault. One, two, is this it? Oh, kick out from Tessa. Very nice, very nice ability from both superstars in this matchup. Throws him in. Oh, does not get that flip. Oh, Superman punch right into the corner. Takes him down. Oh, Lariat. Still following up. She's not staying off of him. Arm drag there. Trying to... T oh, my God. Catch his breath. What did I say about those flips in the beginning? Catch your breath. Don't show off. Preserve your energy. Oh, Parabomb. One, two, three. Congratulations to Jeff Bryan. He has won this matchup, guys. Man, devastating loss for Tessa Blanchard once again here on um, our seventh episode of our season. All right, guys, good match. Moving on. Jeff Bryant picks up another win. Good for him. Moving on to two newcomers. Um, both have picked up some big wins in their LDW careers here. Now you get to face off for the first time. Owen Miller, Jamie Wilson, up next, guys. All right, there he is. Type B, Owen Miller, guys. Type B, Owen Miller. Was on a losing streak, then picked up his first win on our last episode against Jeff Bryan. Let's see if he continues his momentum right here tonight. Gotta love this guy. He's got the strength. He's got the technical ability. He's great in that ring. Very valued junior heavyweight here in LDW. And then here's his opponent, Mr. Women, Jamie Wilson, one half of the first LDW Tag Team Champions. No one's even really acknowledging her since that win, but hey, yeah, I give mainly because she's a newcomer. We don't really know her too well, and she she was really just a handpicked partner from Michael Elgin. So so now she has a proving ground here in LDW. Now here she goes against Owen Miller, uh, Owen Wilson in this match. That's Owen Miller. That's Owen Wilson. <laughs> Anyways, this is her proving ground she's facing off against one of the newcomers. All right, gets off, throws her in. The size difference is amazing. One's a junior, the other is a heavyweight. The muscles on 
Jamie Wilson are amazing. Same on Owen Miller. Oof, misses that football takedown there. Throws him in. Ooh, Lariat puts him down. One thing with Jamie. Oh, one. One thing about Jamie. Um, really uses that her size to her advantage and her strength ability to her advantage. Um, this is really a strength match. Oh, a power. Oh, my God. Press slam puts her down. You know, Owen Miller, He's he's got that strength ability as well as you just saw. So this is a big muscle match here. Cobra clutch here. Or excuse me, camel clutch here. Double underhook. Tries to go for it, but Owen throws her off. Lock up here. Knee to the gut. Elbow to follow up. That's it. Yeah, loosen up this big woman. Now a press slam the strength of this man, but you don't want to exert too much strength. That is a big woman he's lifting up. All right, the exchange here. Owen. Oh, wait. I thought he won the exchange. Jamie takes the advantage there. Truly, is, instead of them facing off against the, the known talents here in LDW, this is their first time showing what they got against the newcomers as their newcomers themselves. All right, Pitfall won. Kick out there. Proving ground for both of them here. One is a champion already. The other is not a champion, but has a big one under his belt. Pinfall. One. Oh, does not get a one count. Choke slam. Going off. Oh, does not finish. Oh, misses the take. Oh, my. Oh, takes Owen down. Camel clutch once again. Will he tap? She gets out of it. Scoop slam. Slams are down hard. Boston Crab to follow up. Throws him in. Now what? Oh, a nice power slam. One, two. Is this it? Oh, kick out there. Great resiliency shown once again by Owen. Miller in this matchup. One. Ooh, kick out there. Locks up. Throws him out. Now, she catches her breath. Oh, and Miller catches his breath as well. Really showing what they've got in this matchup, guys. This is like, almost like a student versus student match. Not even student versus student. It's just like new, new face versus new face. It's like the new kids on new kids in school facing off here now in competition. I love what both of them have to offer here, guys. Throws them in. Oh, a power sign puts them down. One, two, throw. I thought that was it. Very nice. Oh, nice spinning Larry there. Oh, one, two, throw. Kick out there. Very nice, very nice ability shown by these two competitors here. Oh, the nice lariat of his own. One, two. Oh, it doesn't get two count. It just gets a one count. Definitely, Jamie is showing what she's got. I know I keep mentioning it, but this is a chance for us, for me personally, for management, for the LDW fans to see what these two have got by facing off against each other. And it is really being shown who is the, the better competitor through this match right now. I don't want to sound biased, but I will say that Jamie, she's got the advantage so far. And Jamie, oh, oh, missed the first one, but got the second one. Picks him up. Oh, very nice reversal there from Owen Miller. And once again, to acknowledge, she's a heavyweight, he's a junior, so... She's got that size advantage on him. But Owen will not back down at all. You've seen what he's done against Heavyweight. Oh my god. Did you just see how she dropped him on his head? No, 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 no. Oh. The strength of Jamie Wilson is amazing. And he gets right back in the ring after that. Just such a damaging move. To the neck and the head. He could have almost got a concussion just now, but he's back in this guy's. He's a fighter. Oh, puts her down just like that. 
Now the half Boston Crab on the big woman. She stays in it. Dragging her. The fans, they're waking up during this match. Celtic cross. And she's right back up. Double underhook. Powerbomb. Fireman's carry. Oh, Dead Valley. Death Valley driver to put her down. And they are both exhausted in this match, guys. You know what this reminds me of? If, you, if you've ever seen it from the early ECW days through Eastern Championship Wrestling, if you've watched it, Tommy Dreamer versus Tasmanian. Tasmanian that was a fantastic match. One, two. Oh, kick out there. You watch that match? This reminds me of this match because they're new, fresh competitors here in LDW, and they're really putting in all they've got in this match to show what they've got to the fans. The only difference is Jamie has a title already. She already has that shot, that big win, that big paycheck about her. But now she really has to prove that she deserves it here in this matchup. Throws them out. They're both trying to catch their breath. They're really putting their all into this match. They're not taking this match lightly at all. Going in on them. Listen to these fans. They're loving this match. Oh, headbutts now. Oh, my goodness. Dragging her now. What's he going to go for? Oh, a lariat. She's right back up after that. What's he going to go for now? Oh, she reverses out of... I think he's going to put her on that top rope. She's got him. Oh, elbow to the mouth there. Celtic cross. These two are tired. She misses the lariat. Another Celtic cross right on the burning hammer sign. Has him up. Jesus Christ drops him around right his head. That has to be it. She didn't even pin him. She wants to inflict more damage on Owen Miller because she knows this man is so resilient in that ring. This man has that I will never give up type attitude. Oh, splash. That has to be it. One, two, three. Congratulations to Jamie Wilson. She has picked up another win here in LDW. Awesome, guys. Simply awesome. Great match. Great freaking match. The fans loved it. I loved it. Very good match, guys. They really showed what they've got to offer here in LDW. All right, guys, moving on to our co-main event of the evening. This is a number one contenders match. Ricochet versus Pentagon Jr. The winner will face the world heavyweight champion at Lions War 2 for that title. Here we go. Up next, guys. And there he is, the former LDW Junior Heavyweight Champion, the one and only Ricochet. Ricochet, you know him throughout this whole LDW series. He is fantastic in the ring, fantastic, no doubt. Got to give it to this guy. He's really put in that work here in LDW. And this is, once again, another chance at some gold. He deserves it. Pentagon, you saw him face off against the champion last show, but you saw that fluke victory from the hangman Adam Page. Now here's another chance for Pentagon to face that off against the world champ at LDW Lions Roar 2. Um, hold up. All right, take a moment real quick. Thank our sponsors tonight. Burning Hammer, Jumbo Mart, Monster Gains, SRGM Home, and Mascara Dorada. You guys are great. All right, let's go ahead and focus on this match. These guys have a history with Usha Underground, the Indies, and here in LDW as well. Very great to see them face off once again here tonight. It's devastating 
That's devastating. I mean, it's, it's honorable that Ricochet is not the junior heavyweight champion. That was his first title opportunity here. Like, not first. Out, that was his first time having some gold here in LDW. He's our first junior heavyweight champion. Big honor for Signic Mono to win that belt. And now is is lived up to that Cinderella Man story. Now Ricochet can finally go to different heights here in LDW and possibly be the second world champion. Or Pentagon Jr. with everything this man has done here in LDW. This could be his another chance once again to be to go against the world champion and see if he can defeat him without a fluke, without any type of doubt in his mind. Nothing but blood, sweat, and tears put in just to defeat Hangman Adam Page for that belt and end this undefeated streak. But in my strong, strong opinion, hold on, kick out there. My strong opinion, I believe Ricochet will win this match, guys. And he will also go on to become the new LDW heavyweight champion. I think he's, I believe he's got it in him to do it. But back and forth here between these two. My I, my favorite in this match is Ricochet. Pentagon, I love the guy. He's got it. Oh, nasty lariat. One. Okay, kick out there. I love Pentagon, but hey, I really want to see Ricochet go at it. Go at it with Hangman and Page for that belt once again. I think he's the man to do it to finish this whole streak off. I mean it, guys. Oof. Drops the knee right there. Going off. Oh, Lariat to take Ricochet down. No, going off again. Oh, another Lariat. Oof. Pentagon taking the advantage. Pinfall one, two. Kick out there. Locks up here. Snap suplex. Both of these men have world championship backgrounds. Both of these men are luchadors. Both of these men can do everything in that ring. This is their fine. This is their final chance here in the in this season to get a chance at that big, big world title. So, whoever you want to name your favorite in this match, my favorite is Ricochet. Yours could be Pentagon, or you can be with me on Ricochet. Um, either way, both of them deserve this world title opportunity, no matter what. Going for that power bomb. Oh, drops right, Ricochet on the back of his neck. One, two. Oh, he almost had him. Neck breaker there. Puts Ricochet down. Now throws up that Cerro Miedo sign. Now stretching the back of Ricochet here. Does Ricochet tap? No, he does not. Gets right out of it. Even though Ricochet lost his belt last show, he is not fatigued. He's not, he doesn't feel sad. He is good, guys. I mean it. He's walking into, he's got another chance. Just like that, he's got another chance, guys. You can't, he can't be that upset. Going off. Oh, kicked right to the side of the head. And just to think about it, he wins this show. He has, let's see. Oh, nice pinfall there. I almost didn't, you know, didn't call it, but. Kick out from Pentagon. I knew he's gonna kick out. So, Blue Thunder Bomb. Let's see. Is this it? One, two, through all. Oh, kick out. All right. So Ricochet or if Pentagon wins, they will have seats episode eight, nine, ten, eleven. They'll have four episodes up to well, really almost five episodes to be prepared for their match at Lions Roar two to face Eggman Adam Page. They will have a lot of time to prepare and be ready for that, even with other type, other things they're doing here on the series. All right, nice arm lock hold here. Pentagon's been really pulling out his submission tactics here in this season. I love it. Whether it be Ricochet or Pentagon, man, they got a lot of time to prepare. This is just the time to, to pick up that big win. Put everything into this match, guys. Oh, Pentagon, he's winded. And Ricochet's just rocked. They're both tired. He's got, um... And Ricochet, roll up. One, two, kick out there. That was beautiful. Spinning kick. Going up. Oh, my God. 6.30, Senton. He just put Pentagon down. 
Ricochet is your number one contender for the LDW Heavyweight Champion, guys. Wow. Simply amazing. That's awesome. That is awesome. That's amazing. Congratulations to Ricochet. Good luck in your LDW Heavyweight Championship match at Lions Roar 2. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Very awesome, guys. Very awesome. Moving on. All right, guys. Here we go with our main event in the evening. This best of five series. Now it's their second match together. Michael Elgin. There he is facing off against Stanley Adams. These guys hate each other. And, I, and hate is a strong word. These two hate each other, guys. Like, big hopes to Michael Elgin that he wins this match tonight. I usually don't support Michael Elgin. But from all those dirty tactics to win last show from Stanley Adams, I just, I, he's dishon excuse me, he's dishonorable. Congratulations for the big win, but you cheated a lot in that match, dude. The low blows, the brass knucks. Referee, please keep an eye on Stanley Adams in this match. And focus. All right, main event time. Michael Elgin, Stanley Adams. Here we go. Stanley Adams has one win over Michael Elgin. Let's see if Michael Elgin can pick up the win here tonight to even out this best of five. The thing between these two men. I'll throw them in. Oof. Punch to the gut. Oof. That nice slam there. It puts him down. Now stretching him. Michael Elgin, half, one half of the LEW Tag Team Champions. Going off. Oof. Thing is, as he's in this best of five series, he's in this rivalry. He also has to worry about once we find our normal contenders for the LEW Tag Champs Tag Team Championships. So, when it comes to that tag titles match, uh, it may come before Lions Roar 2 or may come after Lions Roar 2. So anything's a possibility. Oof. Right to the family jewels. And now this is what won him the match last week. Kick out there. Press. I press a scoop slam and once again going for the family jewels the dirty tactics of Stanley Adams is sickening oof nice elbows right to the mouth of Stanley puts him down just like that now with the um, Boston Crab already right, gets out of it throws him in throws Stanley Adams into the corner here comes Michael Logan. oh Stretching them out. Gets out of it. Suplex. Holds him up. Oh, puts him down. The strength of Michael Elgin is amazing. Ever since he's come back to LDW from his leave. Or from his suspension and everything. He really woke up a little bit more. And he trained and he, he put himself to his limits. And now he's back fresh and he's got... A lot more ability now here in LDW. And that's why he's had one half of the tag champs. And now here he is in this rivalry with Stanley Adams. It's like he's let go of who, who he was in our last season. Now he's facing what he was back then in Stanley Adams. Cocky. Thinking he, thinking he deserves something. Using dirty tactics in his matches. And feeling like he deserves more even though he hasn't really done that much. And now Michael Elgin is a is now here back in LDW facing a man of his former self that's that's the big story behind these two here in this match and moving forward in this best of five series right to the referee please start noticing that this man deserves to be disqualified for all that Ooh, puts him down like that as he keeps using these dirty tactics it's it's Throwing Michael Elgin off and is ruining his focus in the match. 
the what in the world? My goodness, referee, this is not a submission hold. Going for it. Oh my god. Reverse tombstone pile driver. Here comes what's he gonna go for? Oh puts him down. Pinfall here. One, two. Oh, kick out from Michael Elgin. My goodness. Oh. Stanley Adams is definitely a match for Michael Elgin here. As um oh power bomb to Michael Elgin. Suplex here. Stalls with it. Puts him down just like that. Ooh. Puts him down. Elgin going up. Oh. Flipping Senton just like that. The things that Michael Elgin can do in that ring is not normal for a man of his size. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Referee. Disqualify him. What are you doing? Oh my god, once again with the dirty tactics. This is ridiculous, guys. And now, ooh, going straight for that gut. Oh, the low blow. And now, this is what won him the match last week. One, two, Three and once again picks up the win over Michael Elgin with the same exact move. Wow, the fans are they hate this ending. I can hear it. Do you hear the booze? My goodness, what a wild main event, guys. Fans are very displeased with that. Gonna have to move on from that though. All right, good show, guys. Good show. It's amazing. The high point of our show was the two newcomers going at it. You know, I guess the fans, you know, they love to see the new people. They want to see what they've got. And you see the match rating really got up to 99%. Um, Tessa Blanchard, Jeff Bryan had a good match. Tessa losing streak continues. Hate to say it about her. It's pretty sad. Um, Jeff Bryan, congratulations to him. Ricochet and Pentagon Jr. They went toe to toe. Congratulations to Ricochet. Put he really put Pentagon out like that, guys. Good match though. He's a number contender. He's got some big opportunities moving forward. Elgin and Stanley Adams. That just pissed me off. Like how we gotta have a no DQ match between those two soon. So there's that. Moving on. Because I want to see those two like get bloody and dirty in this ring. Because that, that was just ridiculous, honestly. How that ended. Alright, alright. See, what well, I said, we're going we're gonna to be sitting at over 700,000 right after that show. And we did it. And details. Everything sold. It's like something sold out, probably. And that's that. That's a noteworthy thing happened, of course. It's a very basic show, but we picked up some good stuff. August management. Okay. Owen and Nick have been feuding for a while now, but but how still he's finally exploded between them. The industry is in an uproar. Oh, really? Hmm. I can capitalize on this one, guys. Interesting. Anyways, see you guys next time on the LD. <clears throat> see you guys next time on LDW. I've been your host, George Harris King. Deuces.